Hi everybody, I'm Dr. John LaPoop. Welcome to CBSDoc.com. Today I'm going to be having an upper endoscopy. And the reason is that I've had some heartburn on and off over the years. And this is Dr. Mark Pachapin who's going to be doing the procedure. So thank you very much for doing it. Welcome, John. Why do I need this procedure? Right. So heartburn is very common. It generally reflects some form of acid from the stomach working its way up into the esophagus, which is the tube between the mouth and the stomach, and causing some inflammation or irritation. We sense it as a burning sensation. Now, if that happens on a frequent basis, we can injure the lining of the esophagus. And sometimes it can actually increase the risk of cancer. It's incredible what we're able to do. The technology available to us now to remove early tumors, to even treat these cancers endoscopically with without making any incisions, and then combining it even with surgical techniques is the future of where we're going. It's called minimally invasive endosurgery. The stomach loves acid, right? Yeah. The esophagus hates acid. Right, that's true. And you can have other symptoms besides classic burning, right? Yes, in we fact, I would say we're seeing some of these other symptoms even more frequently. Uh, hoarse throat, for example. Some people even can have an asthma exacerbation. People who are having symptoms that they're not sure how to explain should really see their doctors just to evaluate because sometimes these symptoms may not be recognizable as reflux to patients. All right, and with that, I'm off to get my upper endoscopy. So this is the upper endoscope, and um, I can move up and down, left and right, with the knobs using my left thumb. And then we also have the ability, with a little hole in there, to put a device down, which you'll see, because I probably am going to take a biopsy um, of the stomach to look for bacteria. Now the resolution of the scope is really quite remarkable. If we look just at the sheet, this is where it says New York Hospital here, you could see every thread in the sheet. It's a high-definition picture, very similar to the high-definition television sets. And um, if we look, for example, at John's hair, we could see every strand of hair with the endoscope. John, how you doing? Okay, I think we're ready to get started. All right, John, you're going to feel just a little pickle in the back here. That's the tongue. This little flap is called the epiglottis, and that's closing the airway from the uh, feeding tube. Yeah, okay, we're heading down. Yeah, just entered the esophagus. And the esophagus is covered by a lining called squamous mucosa, which is very similar to the lining on the skin. And then as we get further down, you'll see that lining changes. Now you see this? It's like a propagation of a wave heading down. That's the way food moves. This is the stomach now we're entering here. And some of this fluid, this is just some of the spray actually that I just put in. And John hasn't eaten since last night, so there should be no food in the stomach. Some people think these folds in the stomach, which are called rugae, remind them of the surface of the brain. And you know people who think with their stomachs? Well, now you can see, it actually looks a little brain-like. This is the small intestine here. Okay, let's take a biopsy. Open. Close. The little bit of blood, by the way, is always normal. You're always going to see a little blood from a biopsy. Remember, everything's magnified. There's no real bleeding that's happening. There's just like if you were to prick your finger, there's going to be a little bit of blood at the site. So you can see I took one biopsy just above that Z line, went a little higher. We're going to look for eosinophils, which is a marker of um, evidence of reflux. There's no sign whatsoever of Barrett's here. All right, so that's, we've taken our biopsies, and now we're just looking at the esophagus as we come back. He wanted me to show his vocal cords, which are here. That's the windpipe. Okay. John, say ta-da. Ta-da-da. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay, we're done with the upper endoscopy. Thanks so much to Dr. Mark Machapin of the Monaghan Center, New York Presbyterian, Wild Cornell. That's a mouthful, and the mouthful was the upper endoscopy that I got, which gave me some peace of mind. Hopefully you found it interesting. I'm Dr. John LaPook. Good day and good health.